Some of the debris from the crashed spacecraft that delivered Perseverance safely to Mars has been blown away by the wind. Now, one of those pieces has been encountered for a third time miles from the crash site on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance is currently making its way through the intensely fractured terrain known as the Margin Carbonate Unit. Recent drives show that its autonomous navigation system has had to divert around obstacles that it considers hazardous. But what happened on its New Year's Day drive is a bit of a mystery, starting with the way it turned back on itself, driving about 20 meters before diverging and then completing a full loop. Why it then turned around and looped back on the same path is just strange. The drive on the following saw was better, but notably short, so maybe the terrain is becoming more challenging. Here's the view from the ground with Mars Guy for scale. This is a bouldery knob of terrain that Perseverance diverted around at the end of its most recent drive. Clearly, it's a drive hazard. The view to the north captures the mountainous rim of Jezero Crater on the horizon, with the near field showing a mix of relatively smooth bedrock and rugged knobs and ridges that represent drive hazards. This scene includes the tracks where Perseverance doubled back on itself, and it's here that we pick up on the debris story. The navcam shot this scene looking toward the afternoon sun, capturing a brightly glinting object that looks notably unnatural. There's no higher resolution mass cam Z images of it, so this is as good as it gets. But it's good enough to make out a shape that looks quite similar to the piece of debris that mass cam Z viewed back in July, about a mile from here. There it looks like a mirror image, so it's probably been flipped over in this location. As I presented in episode 118, this piece of debris was first seen by Ingenuity in April, just over 100 meters from its second viewing by Perseverance in July. And as I described in that episode, it's likely that this is a piece of MLI, multi-layer insulation, which is used as a thermal blanket on spacecraft parts. The sky crane was covered in this stuff, and some of it likely shredded when the sky crane flew away and crash landed, as planned, after safely delivering Perseverance to the ground. The current reality of Mars exploration is that spacecraft generate debris. It's an unavoidable consequence of the relatively primitive technology we use to get there. But in the future, those rare bits of debris from the pioneers of Mars exploration will become collector's items. In the meantime, one piece of debris has been on a pioneering journey of its own. The three places that it's been encountered follow a straight line tracing more than six kilometers from the Sky Crane crash site. This is clearly revealing the dominant wind direction in the current climate in Jezero Crater, which can be compared to measurements from the wind sensors on Perseverance. Unexpected bonus science. In a strange coincidence, one of the two little booms that host wind sensors is pointing toward the location of the glinting debris. Maybe Perseverance was trying to make sure someone noticed it. This raises the question of whether the rover is stocking the debris or the debris is stocking the rover. 